YouTube is weird. My views are up huge right now, all because of Magicraft. Um, but God, I end up w overthinking YouTube way too much. And then at the end of the day, I decide I just want to play video games and that's it. So let's just play Noida. I'm thinking about how much do I want to edit in the future? How much do I want? I don't know. What do I want to do with this channel? I just want to play games. Today, we get to start a new run, which is my favorite thing in all of Noida. Maybe speedruns. Speedruns are fun because you get to start multiple runs. Okay, we are taking this nice and slow. Berserkium. I want to try and explain my thought process better, but I'm not great at doing that. So these are zombie dogs. They're worth 10 gold. They're easy kills. I should not take damage from them, but eh, I might end up doing it. TNT throwers are not that bad. Some enemies are bad, even in this first area. There are slimers and shotgunners, which are both bad. We could go get over to the right. There's a lava lake. Next to the lava lake, there's a tablet. I can't make it through the toxic sludge undamaged. If you get the tablet and you kill enemies with it, it gives you double gold. And I like early gold a lot. Okay. I just killed that in toxic. So one reason to get water is because it can put out fire. It can transform toxic and, 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 what else can it do? It's just good. I want this to get out of the water. Jump at me. I'm trying to do too much for Tangled. Jump at, it can't jump, it's swimming. Huh, weird, okay. You're gonna end up, okay. No! Okay, that's not enough to turn me toxic. So right now, I could dump out some of this. Even though it's good stuff, it increases damage. It increases explosion size. But if I dump it out, I could put some water into the flask. Now, we have 20% water, 80% berserkium, 1% peat, 1% swamp. I can throw some of this into here. No. <laughs> Mix up the water. Get rid of the toxic. 10 gold. Cool. The goal is at least 300 gold, but more would be better. So yeah, this is Noida. This is a bouncy little wizard game where you explore, you craft wands, you combine spells, you solve mysteries. I'm not very good at solving mysteries, but apparently there's been an update to the beta branch and they added new mysteries. So I would like to try and figure those out. <laughs> but trying to figure things like that in this game out. It's kind of tricky. Okay, I did get this tablet. This wood would burn through. And then inside of here are three or four orbals, which could be worth 60 to 80 gold. Oh, and if they light on fire, they give double gold. All right. Hey, it could be 80 gold. I just took stupid damage. It didn't give double gold. Why? It didn't give double gold. Okay, those ones at least gave double gold. So I traded 13 HP to not even get double gold. That was stupid. What is that? Flummox. Flummox is not useful to me. It might be useful to somebody with more knowledge. It 
Most of these enemies are somewhat harmless once you get used to what they do. Slimer is not. Slimer is scary. Oh, I killed in one shot. This thing's just annoying. There's an enemy with a wand. I want that wand. I also kind of want the gold, so I'm gonna blow through here. You stupid fire skull and a slimer. And fire, and I'm oily, so I light easy. There's toxic in here. This has an early rock. I always take rocks thinking I'm gonna use them, but I almost never do. Maybe I will today. 56 HP. So this is where that wand came from. There's another wand. This wand is a non-shuffle. But it only has three slots. Shuffle means that it'll pick which slot it shoots at random. And then cycle through all three before going back again and randomizing it. Non-shuffle is helpful, especially later. I did not mean to throw a rock. Okay, let's switch this wand and this wand. Cool. There's no real reason to blow up this box. And it could be helpful for something else. Probably won't, but it could be. Um, let's put a little bit of water in there. This is gonna burn down. I want this chest. I could be impatient. TNT's cheap. There's a blood potion. Blood is decent. So there's an orange barrel right there. That could cause death. Being able to identify little things like that. Early on in Noida, that is rough. It's still rough, but there are so many things like that that just randomly kill you. There's also gold right here. So this enemy, this fire thing, is worth 60 gold if you kill it. But I need water to do it. If you kill it with water, it's worth 30 gold if you don't. If you just kill it normally. There's water up here. The Slimer is going to maybe kill it? No. Okay. Come after me. Jump in. The water's fine. Water is fine, you jerk. Can I get it to jump? I could. If I come over here, it'll jump in. Bam. And it's dead. 60 gold. We're up to 622 because that chest gave me a lot of gold. So right now, I already got four wands. I could leave. I could leave. These wands are all garbage. Let's try and find one good wand. This gold I said I wanted. Cool. Ideally, I would find a digging wand, or a teleport, or a black hole. Those are all things I want for the next area. At least digging would be nice. The other ones would be really nice. I don't really need polymorph, but it's fun to fungal shift that. Fungal shifting is when you change one liquid into another. By eating fungus, frogs scare me. Whenever you see one frog, there are going to be more. Pretty much. 
Okay, give me the gold. 29 HP. No, there was gold up there. I see more gold. Is that an explosive? I think it is. I can't tell. Oh! Okay, I'm easily distracted. I was concentrating on this. That's frog meat. And I got blown up by something over there. Alright. Let's go down. My HP is at 6. Gold is good. We got teleport. We got chainsaw. These are amazing. We got black hole. These are three of the best spells in the game. There's better versions, but they're really good. Bouncing Burst. I love Bouncing Burst. I mean, it only costs 10. I use it way too much, or I did, early in my runs. Now I don't use it as much, but I really like it. Holy Stronger Hearts. Hearts bestow more max HP. That's a really good first perk for a long run. I don't know if the goal is to make this a long run. It might be. So teleport. What is my best wand? 33 mana charge speed. 55. 10. Mana's not an issue for that one. This one is nice because it can bounce through walls a short distance. Okay, this thing's in the way. Look, we shot through the wall. Very cheaty. And it just does good damage. It automatically homes, like jumps from enemy to enemy. Chainsaw does broken things. We'll wait to talk about Chainsaw until I find things that enable it, which is not hard to do. Chainsaw is amazing. What about this? Energy Sector Shield. I just don't like it much. Pollen is a way to dig. I already found a way to dig. Chainsaw can dig. I don't need the rocks yet. Chainsaw is not a good way to dig, but it's a way to dig. Cast delay. More er, more cast delay reduction. This wand can shoot really quick. But it charges on mana very slow. So it's going to take forever to fill back up on mana. So right now, all, all four of these would be useful. But I would throw this one away as soon as I find anything else. And I don't really want to get rid of my Bouncing Burst. I don't mind getting rid of a Spitter Bolt, so we'll put that on there. Teleport always goes on two. Main damage on one. Digging on three. Garbage wand on four. Cool. To get out of this holy temple where I can craft wands without collapsing it. Once you collapse it, you can no longer edit wands. There's a trigger point like right here. There's also a trigger point right here. So you need to bypass this whole area. Two ways to do that right now. Teleport or Polymorph. Polymorph is dangerous because I turn into a sheep and I die easily. Teleport is not dangerous, but there's a chance you miss the shot. But it doesn't really matter if you miss the shot. So if I could make this shoot a little bit further, 
It would be really strong. Quick pause to drink water. All right, speaking of water, I should have changed this into a water flask by now. There was a little bit of liquid gold on top of that lava. I kind of want it. To get it, I got rid of my TNT. I can use the digging wand. Wait, oh, the blood is keeping the water from touching it. Four, mix up the liquids. Game is weird. I don't need the gold. I do need this wand. I could probably go around. Or I can slowly dig using three. It's not that slow. It's a little bit slow. It's easy to get caught up on little pixels. Heavy spread is kind of useful. The wand itself has 60 max mana, which is very limiting, but it has 265 mana charge speed. It has double spell. This wand is gone. That's a decent early wand. Red powder is gunpowder. You can dig through it very easy. It will explode if you light it on fire, though. Rats are actually hard to kill with this wand, just because they're really weak little enemies, and this shoots very slow. Where did that rat go? Okay, I just caught that shot for no reason. I do that a lot. I jump in such a way to, like, catch the projectile when I should be trying to dodge it. Oh, I did not kill that. That thing is tanky. That thing has a wand. Chaos is happening. It has a TNT wand. So it's going to use up all the TNT on there. Which... There it goes. It used up all the TNT. It's not like it really matters either way. I don't need the TNT. So I don't mind letting it use it up. Ah, the wand only has two slots. It's better than this wand. But the chainsaw is really valuable. I shouldn't have left that on a wand. Okay, spell shop. Slowly fill this up with water. Okay. Gold really doesn't have much value at this point. It has a little bit, but I already have 700 of it. Petrify is kind of good. Okay, it does have value if I find a wand shop. Orbiting Arc. Does Orbiting Arc do anything with Bouncing Burst? It might. I don't know if I care about Petrify. If I found it for free, I would take it. I don't know if I need to buy it. Like, I don't have any plans to use it. Teleporting ahead aggressively is questionable. Opening this is questionable. That could have killed me. I have pollen with heavy spread. Don't fall into the coal. So yeah, soft materials dig very quick. Hard materials, very slow. Some materials, not at all. Why am I trying to get through to this? Because I saw a pocket. All right, I can kill this even before I go in there. So this is like medium material. Dead Slimer. Oh, 
Off to the left is a fungal area. I could go explore the fungal area. Huh. I definitely could do that. It's hard to stir this without a regular wand. Why am I trying to stir it? Oh, max HP, we want that. Just barely see it. All right, that is a priority. It's worth digging through to get max HP. Super worth it. Gold. Whether I go to the fungal area or not, it's a weird decision because it's not really going to make me stronger, but it's really fun. It's basically just introducing a bunch of chaos into the run, or I can just do boring, reliable things and win the game. And I like doing stupid things. The fungal area could make me a little bit stronger. I'm already strong enough, kind of. If I'm going slow, I should be strong enough. Slowly getting more and more water. What do you got? Spark bolt and acid trail are both kind of fun. This is where I have to make difficult decisions. I think I give up this chain bolt. This wand is decent, except it's a shuffle. I could work with that early. So the problem is, if I take this wand, I no longer have a damage wand. I do, but it has acid trail, which is scary. And it only sometimes has acid trail. Acid Trail is a reason for me to leave. Or this wand is a reason for me to leave. Right now. Because what do I do? Well, just don't run like that. To fight enemies like this. Even a rat is scary now. Okay, why is it not shooting acid most of the time? Because it's a shuffle. Acid is powerful. But I don't want it as my main wand. I want it as like a problem solving thing. Glitter bombers don't scare me too much. Good enough. Good enough. This one has a faint purple glow, so it has an always cast. This has spark bolt with trigger for only 160. I would buy that. Oh, for 370, this one is a shuffle, but it has a lot of spark bolts with trigger, and it has a double cast, and a lot of slots. This wand, um, it's decent, nine slots. Okay, this is the winner. So, the ice thing, pretty good. Three chainsaws, it's overkill, but it's kind of crazy. I would pay 230 for three chainsaws and for the ice. Of these, exploding corpses, you gain immunity to explosive damage. I think there's a negative to enemies explode on death, but I don't know what it is. Breathless is good. Pinpointer is pretty good. It's really good. Exploding corpses wins, no question. This wand, surprisingly good. Okay, so for this wand, if I put two double casts, it normally casts one spell. Now it would cast two spells. Now it would cast three spells. If the first spell is a chainsaw, spark bolt. Spark bolt. Hit four. Bam. We have a machine gun. 
So what's happening? This one is weird. It like automatically casts. It goes instantly. Then this goes. Then this goes. Which casts three spells. One, two, wraps around to a chainsaw which is magic and broken and instantly casts. Which goes back to this, so it goes instantly. But I think it only casts at half rate. Like half of what the maximum speed would be. Because you can see, half the time, it's only casting a single chainsaw. Yeah, there it goes. But still, I think that means I'm shooting either 30 shots or 15 shots a second. Either way, it's really good. It's probably 15. This wand. Same number of slots, good delays, 49. Oh, this has the mana charge speed. So if I put this here, and did this. I think this would also, yeah, that's an actual instant cast. So that is not doing one chainsaw half the time. So this casts twice as quick as the other. And it only has a single spark bolt. With the other, did I have two? I think I had two with the other. I did. So it kind of makes up for it because this one's casting half as off. Half? Half as frequently, but it's putting out twice as many spark bolts each cycle. And it just has way more mana per second. This wand is good, though. The ice kind of makes up for it. Huh. I don't need this yet. This wand is good. I'm keeping this wand. I think I just put my teleport onto it. Anything else? This can get off of here. I could start throwing out junk. We're good. We are good. I still should think about these spark bolts with trigger. Spark bolt with trigger is worth buying for 160. Do I just buy one of it? I kind of want this one just for this thing, but I'll find lots of these. Double scatter. I'd buy it. How's the wand? The wand is crap. Okay. Switch this with this. Cool. This one. I'm gonna put a bouncing burst on here, I think. The reason I'm doing that is for the freeze. Cool. Um, let's figure out what is junk. This is kind of junk. This one's fun, but it's kind of junk. This one's kind of junk. These four are good. This one is junk. This one is junk. This one is junk. Junk junk. Amazing. Amazing. Second spark bolt with trigger is junk. Cool. These are the spells that I value. And I kind of have too many chainsaws. I kind of value this. I kind of value this. I value this one this much. The rock is just a fun weird thing that I won't actually make use of. All right, I think that is good for a first episode of this new run. Next time, we will continue on. But for now, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.